I see patients every day with arthritis, degenerative arthritis, moving into phase three, phase four, phase five of degenerative arthritis to the point where their necks and their joints are fused into one solid bone. So many people with arthritis feel that it's a one-way street. They can't open a jar, they can't shake someone's hand without getting that terrible grinding pain in their joint. When you're dealing with disorders of pain, um, it can just wear down the body, it wear down the spirit over time. I mean, it affects your sleep, chronic, debilitating pain. Arthritis is really just simply inflammation of a joint. That's all it is. The cause of this is what we call an autoimmune reaction. Your body is making antibodies that attack the joint. And that's what causes the pain, the stiffness, the swelling. Rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease. In other words, we have a tremendous amount of diseases that are related to nutritional, um, nutritional problems. If we look carefully, biological research has shown that what triggers that process initially, for many people, not all, but, but for many people, the trigger is food. And we've identified which foods they are. Uh, dairy products, very common. Meat can be part of it. Uh, in some folks, it might be uh, wheat or corn. Well, again, the high protein diet is part of the culprit because your body can only process the uric acid of a very small amount of meat every day. When you're, that's about four ounces. Uh, and when you're taking in 8, 10, 15, 20, 25 ounces of meat a day, you've got all this uric acid that forms in the body that your body cannot eliminate. <clears throat> then it crystallizes. It's like broken or cut glass. And it tends, you know, gravity settling down. It can get in your joints and, and you actually shred the cartilage in your joints. What ends up happening over time, the body sees that as outsider, an invader. It sees it as it needs to destroy it. So it will send uh, the immune system to that area to clean out the joint. Unfortunately, it ends up attacking the joints as well. And if that inflammatory problem is left and continues to eat away at the joint, that's where we see the gnarled hands and the excruciating pain, the redness, the swelling. So you get arthritis and all this extra minerals that we're taking in from tap water and, and other sources that's kind of hardening our tissues and it gets in the joints and causes problems as well. Not only the placking in the arteries, but the other joint problems and gallstones and kidney stones, things like that. But to actually reduce and reverse um, overall arthritis in the body, uh, what needs to be done is we need to take out the very things which cause this inflammation. A lot of people, they just want to take stuff. Keep on doing what they're doing, but take something for the problem. Well, you can't keep creating a problem and try to take something to try to undo it. It doesn't work that way. We have to hit it from both sides. Stop creating a problem and then start doing the things that will heal.